So, ito daw ang pinaka-powerful tablet na meron tayo from Huawei. Hey guys, it's your Tagal Mary and welcome back to my channel. For today, pag-uusapan natin yung pinakabagong tablet from the brand Huawei which is the Huawei MatePad Pro 12.6. Inch. So, ano-ano muna yung mga dapat nyo expect from this tablet? It runs the fastest screen processor. Meron din siyang 12.6 inch full view display, syempre from the name itself. And of course, dito ko rin unang nakita at na-experience ang bagong Harmony OS. So, pag-uusapan din natin yan. Let's talk about first the price. Ang presyo ng Huawei MatePad Pro 12.6 inch, sinabi ko to doon sa ating previous video na kung saan pinag-usapan natin yung interconnectivity between Huawei devices kasama yung kanilang mga bagong monitors. It retails for 55,999 pesos and meron silang ongoing promo wherein until July 18 customers just need to add 1 peso para makakuha ng freebies worth 19,925 pesos and this includes the M pencil, Huawei smart keyboard, a Bluetooth speaker, and the Huawei Band 4. And then, meron pa silang next promo bundle that will be happening on July 10 to 31. Ito naman ay may worth 13,998 pesos. You just need to add 1 peso para makakuha kayo ng Huawei MatePad M Pencil and of course, the Huawei Smart Keyboard. So yes, if bibili kayo guys, it's a total package. Kasama na, katulad ng nakakita nyo right now. So it comes with this packaging. Bago tayo magtungo doon sa tablet mismo, ano nga ba yung mga makukuha nyo sa loob ng box? And of course, what is the variant? Actually guys, we only have one choice, one variant, which is the 8 gig of RAM na merong 256 gig of internal storage. And yung kulay na meron tayo right now is the matte gray. Meron tayong 40 watt Huawei Supercharge na power brick. Meron din tayong USB Type-C na charging cable. At syempre, meron tayong dongle dahil wala pong 3.5mm audio port yung ating Huawei MatePad. Ang unang ko talagang gustong pag-usapan guys is of course the Harmony OS. What is it all about? Ano-ano yung mga features na meron yon? Before we fully talk about guys yung kanyang Harmony OS, I'm sure maraming curious dito sa ating viewers Ngayon, kung ano nga ba siya, ano yung mga features na meron tayo dito. And if it's still the same operating system, pinalitan lang ng pangalan. Actually, it's not. It's a different operating system that is native to all Huawei devices. Pag-usapan muna natin, of course, yung kanyang design and the accessories that comes with it. Unahin natin, of course, the M-Pen second generation. Itong M-Pen na to, it magnetically attaches to the top right of the Huawei tablet. Habang, of course, yung USB Type-C ay nasa right side. Para lang nai-imagine nyo guys kung ano yung posisyon ng ating tablet. Baka lang malito tayo. Strong naman yung kapet ng ating magnet. Medyo may learning curve lang. Lalo na sa ating mga lefties out there na sanay. Pero syempre lang importante, hindi siya malalaglag when you travel with it. And kung nag-worry kayo paano siya i-charge, you can wirelessly charge it on top of your tablet or on the side if naka-portrait yung ating MatePad Pro. And compared to the Apple Pencil, medyo mas maganda yung design natin dito because of its transparent tip. So far, matibay naman yung tip ng pencil kahit na nabaksa ko na siya multiple times. Ngayon, yung bago niyang smart magnetic keyboard naman, it connects to the tablet magnetically as well. It also supports 55 and 65 degree tilting angles. Depending kung saan ka lang sa trabaho, Mas flexible and ma-adjust nyo yung ating viewing angle and mas reliable of course yung typing experience. The travel on this keyboard is okay, clicky siya, and it provides a satisfying typing experience. Yun nga lang guys, I can't help na medyo maghanap ng trackpad sa kanya. But speaking of trackpads, pwede naman tayo guys mag-connect dito sa Huawei MatePad ng mouse. Of course, considering that the mouse is capable of Bluetooth. Gusto ko lang sabihin before we proceed sa kanyang overall design and aesthetic, yung kanyang camera. Noong una ko siyang in-unbox at nagamit, guys, ito yung una kong hinanap. Nasaan yung punch hole? Kasi syempre, 2021 na. Puro na tayo punch hole. Hindi gumamit ng punch hole si Huawei dito, but nilagay niya ito sa labas. Nasa may black bezels natin siya. Which is good kasi this will result to an interrupted display and mas better than yung video call angle natin dito dahil nga most of the time naman ay naka-landscape rin tayo sa 
mga tablet na ginagamit natin. And that is because of the positioning rin ng ating keyboard. Yung overall design ng Huawei MatePad is very utilitarian, practical, and straight to the point design. Anong ibig sabihin nito? Basically, what you see is what you get. Very simple lang, pero elegante and of course, functional. Meron siyang soft angles and curves that feels really nice to the touch kahit na naked kong hawak yung tablet at wala yung ating keyboard. Siyempre, not all the... Ul? <laughs> <laughs> Siyempre, not all the time. Ay, makakapagdala ko, guys, ng keyboard. And when I feel like watching, of course, on different angles, gusto ko tablet lang alone yung hawak ko. So, importante, guys, na dapat curved yung sides niya. And katulad ng previous MatePad, the 2021 MatePad Pro also supports wireless and reverse wireless charging. So, yes, guys, itong tablet na to, it can power up yung ating mga Huawei wearables. Basta make sure na capable din siya ng wireless charging. And of course, mga smartphones natin, and that is also capable of wireless charging. Now for the display, ang Huawei MatePad Pro 12.6 inch, it features a full view OLED display, making it one of the only big screen tablets with OLED display tech. Of course, promising deep inky blacks and punchy colors. It also has 2560 by 1600 resolution display with slim bezels measured at 5.6 mm. So, yun yung mga technicalities, guys. Kamusta naman, Mary, yung experience mo? So, to make it short, yung screen quality niya, guys, it was able to hold up to its technicalities, yung kanyang specifications. How good it looks on paper is also how good it looks in real life. I'm not kidding guys, it's one of the best displays na nakita ko sa isang tablet. At sa pagkakaalam ko guys, sa fact lang naman, ang Huawei MatePad 12.6 inch, siya yung may pinakamataas ng screen to body ratio which is 90%. Yun nga lang guys, sa mga naghahanap ng higher refresh rate, 60Hz of refresh rate ang meron tayo for the MatePad Pro. It looks perfectly smooth. Yun nga lang, scrolling through feed like for example Netflix, social media, isn't quite as smooth compared to its competitors. Since nasa display na rin naman tayo guys, Gusto ko lang din i-share na yung capabilities ng Huawei MatePad Pro 12.6 inch para mas ma-maximize natin of course yung gadget. It's capable of multi-device synergy with Huawei Share. Marami tayong iba't ibang scenarios na ginawa doon sa ating previous video na kung saan kinonect natin siya guys sa Huawei Mate of You na monitor. It's also capable of connecting it to a Huawei laptop. And pwede natin gawin yung mirror mode, extend mode, and of course the collaborate mode. Now, the Harmony OS. Dito guys, pag-uusapan natin yung operating system niya and of course, yung mga applications na available and kung saan natin pwedeng isource yung mga applications na kailangan natin for the Huawei MatePad Pro. Sabihin ko na lang yung pinaka-notable or yung pinaka-gusto ko na feature sa Harmony OS. And this is how tablet optimized the interface is. Halimbawa na lang guys, yung pinaka-home screen niya. Meron siyang dynamic tray at the bottom of the MatePad Pro displaying recent applications. I-hover natin yung pencil or i-dikit pero hindi talaga nakadikit. And you will get a window-style pop-up preview of the application. And syempre, syempre kung may mga bago, meron pa rin namang mga nag-stay na features katulad ng floating windows, split screen, multitasking, and syempre habang ginagamit natin yung tablet, halimbawa ito ay nakalagay sa ating keyboard and nakakabit yung ating M pencil, the tablet can be used more like a Windows machine than a traditional Android tablet. Ganun pa rin naman guys, katulad ng ating mga previous Huawei smartphones and of course Huawei tablets, we have two ways to source applications. Meron tayong Huawei App Gallery and of course, Petal Search Widget. Until now, ang App Gallery, ito pa rin yung pangatlong pinakamalaki na application store globally. We can search a certain application halimbawa ng Instagram sa Petal Search Widget and then, since hindi nga siya available on the App Gallery, it will redirect us sa isang third-party APK websites katulad ng APK Pure. Tapos, madali na natin download yung mga applications such as Instagram. And it also supports installation of some painting applications katulad ng ZenBrush 3. Meron din tayong Taya Sway Sketch, Medibang Paint, Concepts, and more. For productivity and of course professionals, meron din tayong mga notes na applications katulad ng Huawei Notepad, Evernote, Note Shelf, JNote, and marami pang iba. 
Before we talk about, of course, guys, yung speed race, isa sa pinaka nagustuhan ko sa tablet na to, gamasta yung battery life niya. Ang MatePad Pro 12.6 inch ay merong 10,090 mAh of battery with support for 40 watt wired charging and up to 27 watt of wireless charging. Matagal kong nagamit yung tablet, lalo na pag pinagsama-sama natin yung pag netflix marathon ko. <laughs> Nanonood ako guys ng bagong nevertheless. Kasama na rin of course yung mga ginagawa ko katulad ng mga multi-screen collaboration and of course, social media applications. Umabot halos ng 10 to 11 hours kong nagamit yung Matepad, natalo niya yung mga tablets na natry ko na previously, katulad na meron tayo from Apple and Samsung. Malamang sa malamang, makakatapos ka ng isang buong season ng hindi nag-charge. That is of course for the video playback. Now for the speakers, itong Huawei Matepad the Pro 12.6 inch ay merong total of 8 speakers. Meron tayong apat na speaker grills, Place symmetrically on its left and right sides, and underneath each grill, meron siyang dalawang speakers. Isang malake at isang maliet. And guys, etong speakers na to, it is tuned by Harman Kardon. And guys, when I say hands down, hands down talaga ako dito sa audio quality na meron tayo sa Huawei MatePad Pro. It is probably the best audio experience that I've had sa isang tablet. The audio is very deep and rich. So yes, as far as audio, kung yun ang inyong concern, hindi kayo magkakapro... Mag wow! English share ako, girl. <laughs> hindi kayo magkakaproblema, guys, for the Huawei MatePad Pro. <laughs> Proceed to the performance and yung ating conclusion, gusto ko na munang sabihin yung camera specifications niya. Siyempre, importante to, lalo na kung kayo ay mahilig mag-picture ng documents at siyempre, mag-video call. So yes, nowadays guys, a good tablet and of course, a good set of cameras go hand in hand. Diba dati guys, noon uso, magandang tablet, magandang performance, pero eh, X's pagdating sa cameras. Ang Huawei MatePad Pro 12.6 meron siyang tatlong camera sa likod. 13 megapixels ang kanyang primary sensor na available din of course ang night mode. Ang ultra wide niya ay 8 megapixels. And uulitin ko the third camera is TOF utilized by the portrait mode. And lastly, ang importante of course the front camera which is 8 megapixels. The camera UI looks familiar para sa akin guys ah, kasi nakita ko na siya sa Huawei Mate X2. It's a good set of cameras enough guys to again take photos para sa ating mga documents or record some video footages. Again enough para tayo makapag document ng maayos kasi because again a tablet at this size hindi naman syempre ito yung ipang picture natin sa concert. Hindi rin naman siguro sa mga family portraits or kaya naman pag nasa mall kayo. And of course you won't really use it for selfies like this. Hi guys! So, ito yung sample video footage natin from the front camera of the Huawei MatePad Pro 12.6 inch. And currently, we're shooting at 1080p resolution. So, ito namang video footage natin guys. Rear camera na yung gamit ko. And to be specific, this is the ultra wide camera. And we are still shooting at 1080p resolution. <laughs> Last na guys, yung performance niya tapos pros and cons na tayo. Again, ang Huawei MatePad Pro 12.6 runs on the Korean 9000E 5G chipset na merong 2 GPU core. So yes, Huawei chose to use the E version instead of the regular 9000 5G na ginagamit nila on their flagships. But honestly guys, kahit na magkaibang chipset ito, they didn't really made a difference. Lalo na sa mga end users. And hindi naman ako na surprised but binigyan niya ako guys ng isang magandang performance as usual from a flagship tablet na may flagship of course na chipset. The Huawei MatePad Pro 12.6 inch is a really great tablet. It has a new and great platform which is the Harmony OS and it really has potential. Pero syempre guys, as any gadget, any smartphone and of course any tablet, 
meron siyang imperfections. Una, I'm looking for a higher refresh rate kahit na 90Hz man lang. Mabilis naman at smooth yung scrolling ko sa matepad. Pero syempre, medyo hinahanap-hanap ko siya paminsan-minsan. Pangalawa is yung lock ng fingerprint scanner niya. For us to unlock the device, guys, meron naman siyang face unlock. Pero sana meron din siyang fingerprint scanner. Yung dalawa lang naman na yun, guys, yung hinanap ko sa tablet na to. Now, para sa mga pros ko, syempre, Una, meron siyang large OLED screen with high resolution and HDR10. Pangalawa, excellent ang battery life niya, guys. Pangatlo, sobrang ganda ng ating speakers. Pangapat, Harmony OS is better than I expected and it runs most applications din naman. So, not much problems there. Pangalima, of course, is yung kanyang performance. So, yeah, yun lang, guys, yung mga gusto ko sabihin for the Huawei MatePad Pro 12.6 inch. Ang tanong, is it the iPad the Pro Killer. Pero siya ang pag-uusapan natin, mas mura yung Huawei MatePad, lalo na kung makukuha niyo siya ng early bird kasi nga libre yung kanyang mga accessories. Libre ang pencil, libre yung keyboard, at may speaker pa tayo, and of course, the Huawei Band. This depends na lang guys sa ecosystem na gusto niyong i-build, of course. If you already have the Huawei device, syempre, mas matalino at mas wise na bumili kayo ng Huawei MatePad para mas ma-maximize nyo yung gamit nyo. Yun lang guys! Again, it's your Tagal Mary, and see you on our next video. Bye guys!